students. Today we are going to learn English. The lesson of today is about the names of clothes. The names of clothes. This is a shirt. We are going to make a sentence. We are going to create a sentence. We are going to compose sentences using the names of clothes. This is a shirt. You can say, John wears shirts. As I, as I said, sentences should have the main parts. Somebody who does an action is a subject. The action is to wear, to wear, to put on, or to clothe. John wears shirts. John put on a shirt. John dresses a shirt. Verbal and objects. This is a trousers. A trousers. You can say, John wears a trouser. John wears trousers. John puts on a trouser. John dresses a trouser. Or John crosses a trouser. Subject, verb, and object. Enswenta. Mary dresses enswenta. Mary is a subject. Dresses is a verb or action. Enswenta is object, something which receives an action. A t shirt. Mary. Wears a t shirt. What does Mary wear? What does Mary put on? A t shirt. Object. Here is subject, here is a verb. Then, what's this? This is a dress. To make a sentence, you can say, Anna dresses a dress. As I said, sentence should have three main parts. Someone who does an action is Anna. The action is to dress. Something which receives an action is a dress. Objects. Socks. To make a sentence, you can say, Anna puts on socks. Someone who does an action is Anna. The action Anna does is to put on the. What does Anna put on? A socks or objects. Shorts. Eric wears shorts. Eric wears shorts. Someone who does an action is Eric. The action is to wear. What? That what receives an action is a shot. A skirt. A skirt. To make sentence, you can say, someone who does an action is Alice. What action does Alice do is to dress. What does Alice dresses? Thank you to Debtry for watching my videos. I implore you to subscribe, to share, and to like my video. Thank you.